How's it going guys? Vlad here and welcome to the first Arduino tutorial of a series. Uh, for this particular tutorial we're going to cover the digital inputs and outputs and you're going to need your Arduino Uno, you're going to need a breadboard, several jumper wires, a push button, an LED and a corresponding resistor. In my case it's a 120 ohm. So without any further delay let's get started. So the Arduino itself has 13 pins which are capable of doing digital inputs and outputs. Um, they are located up here along with the ground and the AREF pin. So for the first example we're going to use the 13th pin as long as as well as the LED on the Arduino itself. Uh, and for the second one we're going to choose a different pin and connect our LED and the resistor uh, to make it blink. So let's get started with the software. Alright, so in order for the LED on the pin 13 to blink, we have to write a series of instructions. So we're going to define our LED to be on pin 13. We're going to write a setup function, which is basically a function which defines any inputs and outputs for the Arduino. And, and, and in our case, the only pin we're going to define is going to be the pin 13. So pin 13 output. We're going to create a void loop function, which is going to repeat until the Arduino is powered down. And in this case, we're going to write a high to the LED, followed by a half of a second delay, so 500 milliseconds, followed by a digital write LED low, which is going to turn that off another delay of 500 milliseconds and we're going to close our loop so we need to verify the sketch and we're going to upload it to the Arduino so let's see what it does if you have done everything co correctly and uploaded the sketch to the Arduino you should see the LED blink every half of a second um, so let's do something more complicated and instead of having this LED blink we're going to use a breadboard to build a small circuit with an LED and a resistor on it. Alright so for the second example what we need to do is to run two wires one from pin 12 and one from the ground pin of the Arduino onto the breadboard we're going to connect an LED in series with the resistor obviously the pin of the the positive pin of the LED is going to go into pin 12 and the negative pin of the LED is going to go into the resistor and that's going to all go to the ground so we need to make a small we need to make a small modification to our program so in this case all we have to do is put pin 12 for the LED verify the sketch again and upload it to the Arduino and once we're going to build the circuit we can hook everything up and see how it looks like okay so let's build our circuit one thing to pay attention to is that the longer lead of the LED is going to go into the positive pin or the pin or the pin 12 of the Arduino. So we're going to place it on the breadboard. We're going to connect the pin 12 to the positive lead. We're going to place our resistor on the second pin of the LED and we're going to plug in the ground pin into the other end of the resistor. So let's hook up the power to the Arduino and see what it does. And as we expected, the LED on the pin 12 is now blinking. For the final circuit, we're going to add a button to our breadboard, which is going to turn on and off the LED. So let's take a quick look at how this is done. Um, first of all, we're going to put it on pin 4. We're going to have a pull-down resistor to the ground. Uh, notice how I've broken out the ground as well as the 5 volts onto the breadboard rails. So this resistor is going to go straight to the ground to keep the pin at a low uh, and when the button is pushed is go it's going gonna, it's gonna to go to the 5 volts rail so it's going to toggle between 0 and 5 volts uh, we're going to also have to modify our program to include the button so in this case we're going to add a button on pin 4 we're going to have to include an additional definition of the input so button input and what we're gonna do here is replace the delays with an if statement so in this case we're gonna do if digital read button and if it is equal to high so when the button is pressed 
we are going to turn on the LED otherwise or else the LED is gonna have to be turned off so let's quickly verify the sketch see if there's any mistakes and we're gonna upload it to the Arduino and let's take a look at the circuit alright so as you can see I have connected the circuit and you can see the button right below the LED it is connected through a pull down resistor to the ground the the input that we're reading on pin 4 is connected to the button as well as the pull down resistor and on the other side you have the button going to the high voltage rail so I have uploaded the sketch and let's take a look at what it does so as I push the button as expected the LED is going on and off so everything works as, as expected and notice that in this case we don't need any button debouncing as some of you may be familiar with the term and we're going to take a look at that in the next tutorial so please comment uh, subscribe and let me know if you want to see some something different or uh, some different components for the Arduino thank you very much bye